What's up guys, Retro Gamer Gen X here, and in today's video, we're going to be playing Alien vs. Predator, but before we get to that, I kind of wanted to give a review of this product here. This is the AV connection or AV out connector for the Atari Jaguar. Now this is a product that is basically custom made by a guy on eBay. I'll go ahead and drop a link to his channel down below as well so you guys can check that out. Uh, it's called OG Hugo's Retro Store. Uh, just a really cool product. He's a single dad. He makes some 3D printed products, not only for the Jaguar, for other game systems and computers and stuff. He also sells other things like uh, game controllers and things like that he makes himself. Uh, so definitely check out his store. Really cool guy. But let's go ahead and get this thing plugged in. I see no problems with this product. It's basically really easy. It's just an edge connector with these things soldered on and then 3D printed shells. So... I paid 20 bucks for this. Really, it's only just a few dollars in parts, but hey, to help out a single dad and a guy that's trying to, you know, expand the retro gaming universe, <laughs> I'll definitely go ahead and help him out. So go ahead and check out his eBay store down below. Really cool products there, guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing set up and put onto the Jaguar. Have you guys ever wondered about the history of these consoles behind me? Or more specifically, these handheld type consoles? Well, if you have, I've got the perfect product for you. The folks over at Lost and Colt are publishing their second book in a series, A Handheld History. And in this book, they go more in depth than they did in their first book, just showing how these were developed, interviews with the developers and the people that made these products, the engineers and everything. Just a really cool book to check out. But don't take my words for it. Let's go ahead and check out what Benjamin at Lost and Cold has to say about it. We never would have had the space in the previous book to talk about the rise of digital pinball games or the opportunity to talk to the composer of Sylvan Tale. But with this new book, we've told both of those stories alongside many, many more. We swing by X-Rare designers to learn about Donkey Kong Land before hitting the highway with road blasters. We talk Tetris with Tetsuya Mitsuguchi which is featured alongside the cult classic Axe Battler and the Zelda Game & Watch. From Sega to Nintendo to Atari, it's all here in painstaking detail. All right, guys, so Lost in Cult is actually publishing this book on a Kickstarter campaign, which is due on May 5th. They have already raised 26,000 euros towards the 60,000 euro goal to go ahead and get this book published. Now, all their books have been published on this Kickstarter type of campaign. Now, I'm going to go ahead and post a link down below. Uh, this will take you to their actual website where you can go ahead and pre-order one of these books. Or if you get, I think it's the deluxe edition, you can get both the first book if you don't have that and the second book so you can complete your collection. So it will definitely make a great addition to my collection as well, and I can't wait to get this. So once again, guys, go ahead and click that link below and go ahead and pre-order this product. You won't be disappointed. Today, we're gonna to be playing Alien vs. Predator on the Atari Jaguar. So this is a pretty cool game. I would say this is probably one of the best games on the Atari Jaguar, to tell you the truth, so. Let's go ahead and get this thing started here. Now, I want to let you guys know that this is, this video is actually possible because I bought a new AV connector for the Atari Jaguar. Um, actually, I was running this thing off of RF, and it had a horrible, horrible signal. Um, it was just <laughs> really, really bad. Uh, so kudos to the OG Hugo retro store on eBay this guy he's a single dad he makes these uh, 3d printed uh, connectors for the back of the Jaguar uh, along with a lot of other products he does uh, you should check out his store really cool really cool guy really cool uh, products that he sells so anyway guys we're gonna go ahead and get this started here uh, so for you guys that haven't played this game before like I said, this is probably one of the better games on the Jaguar. Um, kind of like a Doom clone, really. Um, so let's go ahead and go through here. I'm going to bring up the map. Now, the map is actually... I don't know what button that is. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. Button number 8 brings up the map here. Um, 
So really there's not much we need to do in here, I don't believe. Uh, I think we want to pick up some stuff off this dead guy, and that's about it. Really, it's just a bunch of empty cells up here. So... Let's go through this door and see what happens. Yeah, guys, I haven't really played this game too much. Honestly, I've only got two games on the Jaguar. And because it was RF and it had such a bad signal, it really was just sitting on the uh, shelf collecting dust. So now I'm probably going to get some more games and stuff for the Jaguar at this point or hopefully get my hands on some kind of uh, flash cart solution for it. That would be amazing. Ah, of course, there's another one. I knew there was another one in here somewhere. There we go. But if you guys know some really good games for the Jaguar, like I said, I've only got two, and that the other one is Cybermorph. Uh, and you guys know Cybermorph probably isn't the best game to try to compare the Jaguar to the other generation of consoles from this gen, basically. Um, yeah. Yeah, I honestly have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing, guys, in this game. I uh, guess I'm just going to start oh, oh, opening doors. Getting killed, probably. And see, what I don't like is that when you kill him, if you walk through that blood and acid, it kills you. It's just, uh, it's annoying. Holy freaking crap. There's so many of them. Damn. Now that was crazy. All right, well, let's see. There must be something good in here. They had them in that many of those things in there. Let's see. Med kit. Got a med kit. Oh, cool. At least I gave you enough med kits to, like, kind of try to survive after that. What? Who's killing me? There's another one? Is there one behind me, too? Where did the hell did he come from? Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to try to get out of here without dying. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> but I did want to show you guys this because it is kind of cool. Like I said, a Doom clone, first person shooter, old school, retro, that kind of stuff. So, I really probably should have played this game a little bit before I put it on YouTube. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this is probably, like I said, probably like my fifth or sixth time actually playing this game. I played it a long, long, long time ago. Like way back in the day. When I had the Jaguar on my collection. Is there another one behind me? Ah, uh, of course. Well, that about does it for this video, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I'm really stoked that I've got the uh, AV connection for the back of this now crystal clear signal I mean it really couldn't get any better it really looks good um, but I wanted to thank all my subscribers uh, all the people that watch me uh, if you like the content go ahead and hit that like button uh, also hit that uh, subscribe button if you're not sub to me and then click that bell so that you get notifications every time I drop new content for you guys well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Y'all have a good one now. Peace out. Game over, man. It's game over.